here in Ultimate, this matchup plays out quite a little bit differently because Cloud is uh, just a, a different, he's still an animal. He's just a different animal entirely from what he used to be. All right, we're starting on Pokemon Stadium 2 where you'd expect. Uh, I want to know how Ken deals with the range that Cheeks has, or how N deals with the range that Cheeks has, and how he deals with the anti airs because a lot of the matchup in Smash 4 was how Cloud deals with jump ins. He'll dash back and go for that cross slash or meet him in the air with a back air. And if Ken doesn't find the proper opportunities to jump in and catch him, it's going to be really hard. Well, I'll tell you what, a normal Ken player going up in this matchup is going to be using a lot of that back dash because you're not turning your back to your opponent when you're playing Ken. All you have to focus on is the spacing and make sure you get away from that cloud. But N is not a normal Ken player. No, no, he wants to get those hits. Absolutely. So we're going to see. He does utilize that back dash a lot, though. He does. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Have that that's, confirmed? That's just a start. Yeah, that, that was nice. And finding Shoryukens in the in the most wild places. The, committing the most heinous Ooh. of Shoryuken crimes. There we go. He's still jumping in, though. That, you know that post, I I will never stop jumping in. I I'm will still never stop in. going in. I'm still yeah. going in. Yeah. That's N, and that's N's whole philosophy. Yeah. Ooh, you got to watch out. That was a really good answer to the focus there. After that, after that crescent kick, you are, I'm so scared for what happens next on that shield. There, there could be anything, man. Mm -hmm. Anything indeed. And off to the focus. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, that's exactly, exactly right. Great use of that climb hazard. Wow, that, <laughs> that kept it safe. I mean, uh, probably not like actually safe, but are you going to react to that? I'm not going to react to that the first time. Oh, oh, this is so this is where N gets a lot of those setups Punch? is those mid percent Ooh, Tatsus. That wasn't supposed to be a Tatsu. He wanted that mid Shoryu probably, but reversing it got him got himself a Tatsu. Sometimes you get to mess up those inputs, man. Nobody's perfect. Yeah, Cheek's doing a really good job of these anti airs, but eventually when N gets in with those jumps, it matters so much. Oh, that was two hits on the way up? That's not even fair. <laughs> I, cross lashes. I've got smack. Wow, okay. That was really smart from uh, Cheeks that that Tatsu sets up for interesting uh, frame situations. Okay, got the grab. Up throw, not gonna kill. It caught him DIing straight in too. Yeah, no, all the all that Cheeks is looking for there is to just set up for a juggle and you know make sure that Ang can't get Whoa. good stage position, but he doesn't even need stage position to take a kill. What are you talking about? He dashed. He, or he, saw, he saw that the first down tilt was like at tip range, so he wasn't going to be able to get a kill off of it. But he realized that a lot of people will roll out of that kind of situation, so he just dashed forward and got a deep down tilt so that he could get that confirm. And it was such a big brained pressure. Dude, he's looking like a middle of the Atlantic Ocean deep right now. Looking kind of like a Skullgirls player with these mix ups and resets <laughs> instead of just going for the straight Honestly, combos. Man. That's the, that's the way it's meant to be played when wow. you're playing Ken. Cheeks just straight killing it, though. Yeah, the, uh, the comeback these... trail is not to be trifled with. with the, these, these cross slashes in particular, he's just getting them so well. And it's important that he has that at his disposal because, I mean, this basically takes away N's ability to use the focus so long as Cheeks has it on his mind. Oh, but whiffing that climb hazard, it's not going to be safe Especially when Ed is already grounded, all he has to do is turn around and get the combo started. He's getting all three hits of that Tatsu, and now just making sure, you know, he's playing away when Cheeks has that limit, and I'm surprised that Cheeks just goes in and Ooh. presses the advantage so hard. How did he whip that back air? Ed's drift was insane. He's back on the stage, but that back air running off the platform, Cheeks held it together and was able to take that. I was scared the second end touched his feet back on that stage. Yeah. Because that was definitely a solid, like, rinse, repeat edge guard. But beautiful avoidance of the edge guard was able to find his way back on. You can tell he's fought a cloud or two before. Yeah, I feel like the important thing is what N is doing is every time he does find that jump in, he's making it count more than however many anti airs he takes dashing in every time. That's, that's what's going to win him the set. And so far, you know, he's down a game. Cheeks has done a good job of making sure that it's not just the anti-airs that are, you know, making a play. He is making a lot of damage. 
come out of these anti-airs as well. The only scary thing but. that I'm seeing here is, you know, once again, when you see a Kent player, you know, a traditional Kent player, going in a matchup like this where their opponent has a lot of range and they can just space in and out a lot, they're going to be using a lot of that backdash so that when Cheeks does approach, and he will approach because he is Cheeks, you know, you got to be able to create that space for yourself to get those whip punishes, but and keeps going back. Oh, yeah, right there. I mean, yeah. even using the focus, it still did the job. What an air dodge. Avoiding that limit cross slash. There we go. A little bit of a dash back to set up shield pressure. Cheeks uh, just stood there. That's the cheek special. That is, dude. It's a, it's, it's shades of Zachary. I'm gonna be real. It's a, he just stands there and he waits for you to do something and he goes, all right, I have a sick reaction time and my character's frame data is nuts. Man, cheeks is just really taking big advantage of this range that he has over N, and is struggling. If there's any one thing that Ken is not going to be able to do, it's a bust a zone, especially one as big as clouds. That threat zone is so massive. Ooh, there we go, jump in, but still had time to shield. And struggling to find the jump ins that he was finding game one. Cheeks is playing so solid defensively. Oh. That climb hazard, such a tilting move. Because yeah. in Smash 4, you're like, that's not good. It's, it's all right, but that's not good. And in this game, it's actually just phenomenal. Yeah, no, it's, and you think, what's well, an up B? I should be able to punish this, but the landing lag, it ain't there. It's like when you get hit by Diddy Barrels and you're like, is this, is this supposed to happen? Is this the real life? By the way, can we talk about the sick parries, the parries. there from N? Yeah. Finally able to get himself out of that pressure zone and get himself a little bit of an opening, but now Even the one the opened jump? up. Yeah, I, I love the idea there of cross last to cover any focus attempt to get back down. Ooh. I love the slow drift down by end so that he makes Cheeks go back to the ledge, but he's still he just getting he, he can't find the counterplay to this cross slash. It's I mean he's gotta get ranges. he's gotta get further away, but Kent's aerial drift is so bad. Mm -hmm. It's so committal as well, that's the biggest thing. Uh -huh. There we go. Finally gets it down to Shore Yukin. He has some rage. He can't if he takes an early stock, you know, or plays really, really solidly on defense, then it's possible, but he has been getting caught for holding forward so often. And he feels an obligation to because he's down, right? Mm. A lot of people do, but eventually most opponents will approach. Not all of them will, mind you, but eventually most will. There we go. I love that from Cheeks as well, drifting back with the first back air and realizing the N has to drift either back, in which oh. case the back air that he threw out up there was safe, or forward and he'll get killed by the second back air. Yeah, the big thing, the big thing, Brent, I mean, you're saying that he's jumping in so much. I feel like... His game plan needs to shift from, I need to hit this guy because I'm down to just the traditional don't get hit. Punish? No, he just drifts to the ledge. He was waiting too long and didn't react fast enough to the lack of hitbox on the way down. Cheek's doing a really good job of mixing up whether he goes for that hitbox coming down with fine hazard. Ooh, fakes the jump off stage. Has limit. Oh my oh. goodness, jump back into it. And faked him out on the side, but uh, didn't quite find a punish because of it. Not one parry, but you got to parry the end of that. Austin has shown us a little bit of that, but, you know, some other people still got to hit the lab for it. Although, I would believe that Ann already knows how to do it. Up throw, not going to kill even with D.I.N. Oh, great use of the focus once again to just mix up his drift. Okay. Cheeks, Cheeks wanted to smack that on the ledge mm -hmm. so that it would put a long-lasting hitbox out, but not necessary. Waits for the jump from the ledge from N, just... Desperately wanted to get back on stage and yeah. could not find it. Just anti-air after anti-air after anti-air. Uh, even air to air is a bunch of the time when you got that big disjoint as well. Cheeks just did a, a great job of continuously punishing and for jumping. And he had the luxury of constantly being on the, uh, on the, I won't say the defense, but he was there forcing N to approach the whole time. 